We're just gonna go to his house. Oh man, that looked funny. I thought he was gonna, like, drive right into his front house. Alright, Mr. Mr. Davis? Sir? Famous man's home. I'm excited. I have a feeling... I have a feeling we'll be get a much better idea of what's going on if we find the case files. Objective. Learn as much as you can about Lee Davis. Find his case files. Probably not in the... Ooh, there's a gun there. Gun on the bedside. Pretty intense. Do you see a lot of violent crimes around here, deputy? No, not really. It's a peaceful town. These incidents are the first serious thing to hit this town since the, since the tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Some local business had to leave. Actually, the U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Did they end up buying? Now the tornado dissuaded, <laughs> dissuaded them uh, pretty fast. Also, a lot of that land was in contention was in contention. Apparently the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently years back they bought it off the Cherokee tribe, as I told you earlier. Apparently they swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. Huh. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. I like how examining the gun gave us that, uh, all that backstory. What'd you say about the light? All these lights are on. He must have left in a rush. Hmm. Interesting. He's very clean. Full fridge. He wasn't planning to disappear if he would have emptied it out first. God, we're gonna find something weird. There's another note. What's this? Hold on. First of all, what's this? set of keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think th those are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. Those aren't his house keys either. They don't... Uh, as they don't look like the copy I have. Best we hang on to these. There's a computer that's on there. Alright, let's just look at this. There's a pie symbol on the rug. Why is there a note here? Different handwriting this time. What does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 6, 34. That's from the Bible. Let's see if we can find one. Sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there's a Bible around here. That's a little cryptic. The guy's a hacker or something? Why does he have so many computers? This one's on. Before we do that, I actually kind of want to see the Bible first. Where's the... There's a Bible around here somewhere, you said, right? There's a gun up there. There's a Bible sticking out from the... Alright. Sir, they said, from now to give us this bread. From now on, give us this bread. Huh. The sheriff has a storage unit somewhere. This might be a clue as to where. Hmm. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I just kind of want to see that first. Medal of Honor award to Lee Davis. Ranger. So he was a military. Yep, U.S. Army Ranger. Hmm. If he is dead, whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That's if he is dead. With his car gone, it's most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left so many firearms behind. I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. How to modify small and medium-sized firearms. What? Okay, I couldn't move there. Photos from Antarctica. Lots of classic literature. This guy sure loved the read. Okay, let's... Oh, there's still more stuff to look at. He's a very impressive guy. This guy's packing heat. Look at all these guns. I'm in America. I have to. <laughs> Alright, let's download those files then. Because uh, that's what we were... That's what we came here for. Let's see. 
When I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Maybe it's encrypted. You can still copy the files into your flash drive. Yeah, but it doesn't stop, it doesn't stop me from doing that. Interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files and yet not chooses not to lock them in his computer. Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely, he didn't put up a password for the computer itself, as if he knew somebody else would use it. Something, excuse me, something weird going on. Copy a file anyway. We can probably find the key word that deciphers the code later. Maybe. I'm gonna guess that's it. Yep, that's it. Where do you think League Davis' storage unit is at? Oh. Oh. I didn't realize they left a clue. Hmm. I actually really have no idea. I, I, I'm going to guess it's one of these two because they put two T's here. Usually what they kind of do uh, in these kind of puzzles, but yeah, I didn't. Let's go with that one. Oh. Oh, luckily he doesn't. Wow. Baker. Uh, okay. That was weird that they would put that there. And it had no consequences if you got it wrong. Unless there are consequences. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. I, I didn't. I didn't expect that quiz. Locked. Empty. Phone directories. Huh. Those look a bit heavy. Can we pass them for later? Yeah, sure. So this is. He carries a bunch of guns, documents, but it's all gibberish. Doesn't really look like a language. You need to know how to decipher a keyword to unlock it. Uh, it's an old way of hiding sensitive information. Looks important, we should take these. I can hold on to those. Silver Creek Road, okay. Keys. Just want to look at that. Locked. Yeah, he's packing heat. What's this right here? If you're reading this, chances are you're looking for something. <laughs> okay. What was in this, uh... Wait a minute. Did we even examine this? This is it. It even labeled it for us. What's inside? Files and all the victims and some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player? Nah, man. <laughs> this car is only a year old but no tape player. I have a tape player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel and check it out. Cool, I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Lee's Davis's files if that's okay. Alright. Alright, let me just examine this place a little more. So somebody clear all these out, and apparently all in those boxes are camping gear and medical supplies. So... Yeah, I feel like the sheriff either knows something important or is in on it somehow. I don't know. But yeah, let's listen to this tape. All right, see ya. Oh, just without his partner. Or no, he should be with our partner. Yeah, we there he is. All right, then hopefully everything is fine. I'm eager to play Lee Davis's tape. Let's go back to my car. Oh, my bad. Yeah, tape car. Oh, yeah, I thought our car. Uh... That is something very strange afoot. This is something simply unnatural. In my time as a sheriff, I have never seen anything like this before. Every crime scene lathered in the blood of its victims, yet never a body to be found. Always that smell of ammonia present, and every scene, even though all three scenes are in such different locations. Due to the amount of blood and damage present, am I to assume that a murder has taken place, and the bodies disposed of perfectly? 
This seems a bit too simple an answer. I must investigate more. Furthermore, I find it highly disturbing that every confirmed victim has come from the same college nearby. There must be some correlation. I know it must be so. The girls in the sorority all knew each other, and the boy who was killed in the park was a boyfriend of one of these girls, and the last missing piece was finding out about the victim of the car accident. Now, I have checked the vehicle's registration, and apparently the car was reported stolen in Durham hmm. a few days ago. The owner is alive and well and seems unaffected by these problems, yet obviously distraught at the fate of his vehicle. I must find out the identity of the driver. Interesting. The notes I'm finding in each scene are also very disturbing indeed, as if left on purpose as a signature by the killer. I am led to believe the answer lies in finding the correlation between all the victims and seeing who would have a motivation to eliminate all of them. I am not safe. For the past few days, I have felt a presence around. Someone watching. Someone or something. I do not know if it is human. When you are in a small town like this one, it is not hard to detect when something irregular has happened? If you are listening to this, I am assuming you're also a member of the police force, and I ask you to please see if it just has been done. These youngsters had promising lives in front of them, and now their families are telling me they have disappeared. My heart tells me they are no longer in this world. The brutality of the attacks makes me think that perhaps it may have been an animal, or even supernatural. Thank you. But the lack of evidence makes me think that perhaps it was from someone or something intelligent and experienced. I leave behind my notes for you in case something happens to me. Farewell. Okay. So yeah, that's the cutscene I guess in question. In case people wanted to listen to it again, they can't skip it. Uh, which is fine. So yeah, my, my suspicions exactly. So what do you think? It's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, this small town hasn't seen anything major in years. Yeah, but one could possibly claim that the attack was in the National Park was a wolf attack. Yeah, but the car accident really was caused by drunk driving and a guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere? Doesn't sound quite right, does it? No. Also, those creepy notes. The one Lee Davis left for us was his, that's for sure. But the ones at the crime scene, I don't know. You think it might have been Lee Davis? No. He was with the deputy at the time of the first crime, so I can't imagine how such a decorated officer suddenly goes on a murder, murder spree. I've seen stranger things, but my gut instinct tell, uh, says it's not him. Besides those tapes... He sounds really mystified and horrified by the cases. Did you get a quick look at his rifles? Or his files? My bad. Very quick look. Did you notice that all the victims were under 24? All college students from the same university? Yeah, we need to investigate who, uh, who of them knew each other. But first, we should probably check out the evidence. Check it for fingerprints. Yeah, check out those blood samples, too. It isn't insane that there are no signs of the bodies. All just huge blood splatters and holes. We have to we have our work cut out for us. As long as the amateur deputy store stores all the evidence well, we should be able to crack crack this. You're pretty rough on him earlier. Oh come on, you know he deserved it. Chances are the trial has gone cold by now. Like I said, we got our work cut out for us tomorrow. Why did, uh, what did he tell you when I was getting coffee? He was telling me about how strangely Lee Davis was behaving after these cases. How he was recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't eating or sleeping. Oh, no. Very strange. Anyway, I'm tired. We sure crammed a lot today, in a day. Uh, we could have split this into two days, but the trail would have grown even colder. I'm off to bed. All right, see you tomorrow morning then. All right, it's for me. It's getting a little obvious that something's going like 
he's getting tea or tea he's getting coffee anything I can help you with no thank you I'm just gonna go straight to bed what about the TV anything on the TV where's this <laughs> Boston's got it so yeah the the sheriff seems to be possessed this is bad very bad how's my inventory I still have everything Day three. Sarah! He's banging on the door. What's happening? I just got a call from the captain. The deputy's body was found this morning. Deputy Hill's dead? Afraid so. Where was his body found? In the police station. We should investigate. The police station is on... Carry Road. Let's investigate. We're done here. This is really strange. Who blocked the parking exit with their car? I guess we need to walk into town today. A stroll will do us good. Who would do that? Wow. This is weird. What is it? Okay. All right, we're, we're gonna, who is that? Sorry, man. Sheriff Davis is awake. What? I know. I, I was here yesterday investigating this house. Sorry, man. We can't let you through. Orders from above. Whose orders? My boss. Special agent in charge. He's looking over the police station. Okay. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to find another way around. We're not going to just fuck off. Restricted area. We're police officers. My name is Detective Sarah Fitzgerald. Hawthorne County Police requested my presence here. Your badge says Norfolk Police. Aren't you a bit far away from your jurisdiction? Aren't you listening? We were asked to come here. This is my jurisdiction. Not anymore. FBI is taking over this show now. So you can take it easy now, Detective. Thank you for your concern. I heard deputy. the deputy was killed. Yes, we're looking into it, Detective. You are relieved. Oh, I always loved Mike. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Detective, I really need to ask you to leave now. We knew him. We should have the right to see him. Also, all those case evidence was in the building. We're taking over that as well. The minor cases like that car accident will pass through the Dor Dorham Police Force. You're relieved, ma'am. Talk to me like I'm a civilian. Cases are all related. Wh whoever killed the deputy also killed the college kids. As for us to decide, Detective, will you be leaving now, or do I need you to have it be escorted? There's nothing we can do, Sarah. You can't be buying this crap. They're FBI and they outrank us. I can't believe you. <sighs> Damn, what do we do? <laughs> These guys are all hanging out. This area's closed off. What do you mean the entire north part of this town is closed off? I'm afraid so. FBI. Hmm. Move along. Move along. Oh, wow. Can we just... Oh. Pfft. Damn it. I guess we just leave. <sighs> that car better not be there when we come back. Is there something I missed? Well, it looks like the... <laughs> that's off... That's us off the case. Phil, I can't believe you're giving up now. The FBI and the Dorham police are here now. We're not even... We're not even operating within our own state. I'm sorry, sir. We have to leave. I'm going to talk to the captain if I, and see if I can get special permission to reopen the case. I don't care if we have permission from D.C. All right. Good luck with that. I can't believe you, Phil. I know that whoever is responsible is out, is out there, and you're just going to walk away? Of course I do. You think there wasn't this much politics when I was an inspector in England? This is the same thing. Shit happens, Sarah. You gotta trust the system. I'm not gonna let this slide, Phil. I know we haven't known each other for that long, but you're a cop deep in your bones. <laughs> gotta find the guy. We will, we will. Just going... It's just going rogue. The, uh, 
just going rogue is the fastest way for us to lose our badges. You still have the case files in Lee Davis' photos and tapes, right? Huh, <laughs> good job. Let's show the captain everything and explain what happened. Right now the FBI has everything locked up. Uh, so it's not like we can't get any more evidence. I'm sure we can work out something special. I trust the captain. Alright, sorry I shot at you earlier. You're passionate and a cop deep at heart. Deep in your bone heart. It's a good thing. Let's head back to Norfolk. Norfolk. This place gives me the creeps. Alright, let's get our bags. I'll meet you here in the lobby in 15. They billed me for consuming something from the hotel room fridge. Uh, I haven't even opened mine the whole time. Don't you just hate when that happens? Alright, see you in 15 minutes. Mark, is that the hotel? Oh, you got here in time. For a second, I thought we'd missed each other. I flew over the second you called me. So you think it's them? I'm pretty sure. It's all telltale signs. Hmm. Sir Hamilton won't be happy. I thought we sorted this out years ago. Apparently not. Tell him we need the whole team back. It's way worse than before. I'll take a look around. So are you extracting tonight? Now I'm returning to Norfolk tonight, and we'll go through the debrief with Sarah. You old softy, don't spend too long there. I'll meet you in DC in a week. Yeah, see you there. Oh, Sam. Yeah. So don't stay here too long. And I'll see you in DC, Mark. T okay. Wow, that was pretty sudden there, but. Okay, maybe that wasn't the, um, okay, I thought maybe that was the, uh, the person at the desk, but probably not. Okay, so, he's in this, in, he's part of something that I don't know. And there's some paranormal stuff going on. That's interesting. Alright. I thought I was gonna go a little bit in-depth with the evidence, or, I, I don't know. They say to pay attention to all the clues, and, and I... It's kind of obvious what happened, I mean, I, unless you don't know anything about the paranormal. But it was, it was fun. I don't know how many chapters are supposed to be. I was going to cut to that. Okay. Alright, but that was Silver Creek Falls. Uh, I'm looking forward to Chapter 2 to continue the story. Hope you guys enjoyed, and... Uh, yeah, if you have any other games like this, uh, feel free to suggest them to me, and I will see you next time. Peace out.